What's going on YouTube? My Lark's here today and we're back for another player review on YouTube, of course. Now today is the start of Future Stars and today I've picked up Mateus Cunha, one of Atletico Madrid's Samba stars so far. Very good card as well. It's cost me 340k. Obviously the promo has just come out so these prices will slowly but surely start to go down. So we'll take a quick look at the card. High medium, 4 star, 4 star. And I'm really impressed with the stats already. 93 pace, 87 shot. I'm going to try Hunter on him. I am going to play him in the cam position. I feel like you could probably play him left or right wing as well with obviously a Hunter on him. It's got, like I said, the pace is very good. The shooting shot power. Good long shots as well, 89. Good attacking position. His passing's good as well. Like I said, 85 crossing. 86 short pass. Long pass isn't great. Curve's good enough though. Again, the dribbling's very good. Obviously, Brazilians seem to have good dribbling. It just seems to be a thing. 93 agility, 91 ball control, 94 dribbling, 90 composure. So his physical stats as well are still good. 87 stamina, 86 jumping, 77 strength, 78 aggression. So, and have a look at the player traits as well. He's got a long shot taker, speed dribbler, outside of the foot. So that's why I feel like the cam would be his best position because he's got four star, four star. You can do a bit of skills with him. Also as well, can score off either foot. And obviously, yeah. Six foot as well. He's not exactly, he's not going to be weak either. That's the thing. He's not going to get pushed off the ball too easily. So let's take him into a game of rivals. Let's see how good this Samba star is. Okay, so here's the team I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using Cunha in this cam position. Uh, I will try him as well out on the left. So we'll give him a go as well, obviously, out on the left hand side because he's got the finish. He's got a long shot taker as well. So I feel like we could get, get him coming in off that left hand side. Getting shots away, I feel like we're gonna it's gonna be a very good card to use. I'll try him on the right as well, but being honest, I feel like centrally in this cam position, just behind Jonathan David, it's gonna be his best position to be honest with you. Oof. Very pacey this Martinez Cunha. Very pacey. There we go. Great passing ability as well. Oh, silky. Round one. Still going. Digs the goalkeeper as well. Oh. Composure. Just see there, look. He's constantly making the little runs in behind as well. That's what you need. There he goes in again. Oh. It's falling back to him. He's got the long shot, long shot taker. There we go. He's put Bernardo Silva in. Come back for the cutback. Oh, got a score. Great bit of play though. See how agile he is as well. The way he can just turn. There we go. Away from defenders. But very, very good body type. The way you can just, like I said, just keep turning, twisting. Very agile. Oh, he's just turned around. Cunha's in. Left foot finish. Oh, great goal. Great finish. That's both two left foot finishes now. You can start using the right a little bit more. There we go. Cunha's in again. Right foot, left foot. He doesn't miss, does he? He does not miss. What a great finish, by the way. Slightly moving the goalkeeper as well, look. Still, he's <laughs> just a clinical, clinical finisher. What a great pass again, Cunha. There we go again. Another left foot pass by Cunha. For me, he's looking like the perfect, perfect centre attacking midfielder. Cunha, neat dribbling. Should have went across goal, really. Oh, 
Go, what a ball. There we go, Cantona's in. A great turn, great pace as well to get away from players. See, he's got such great dribbling as well. See the way he just keeps hold of it. Little nice bits of movement as well, little one twos, there we go. I just can't manage to score with these finesse shots from outside the box of him. Cunha, there we go. Either foot. There we go. Again, look how good the dribbling is. Just look, just leaves people behind. There you go, still carrying on his run. There's Kuna. So, as you see from the footage, Kunya in game is absolutely incredible. Pacey, dribbling's amazing. We knew he was going to be anyway by looking at the card. Can score off either foot as well. He's only got a four star weak foot and his shooting's that good. That's why I put the hunter on him just to make him a finisher because he will get chances in front of goal. And as you see, he scored a ton, ton load of goals as well. His passing's good, as you see. Either foot, he can play the long passes. Even though he only has 76 long pass, it didn't really honestly feel like it. Looking at the stats, I probably would maybe go for a dead eye. He's very quick. I don't really think you need to worry about the pace as much. So to be honest with you, yeah, if you did want to change it to a Deadeye, I think I would personally, I think I would now put a Deadeye on him than a Hunter because he is quite quick in game. So yeah, that would definitely be what I'd use. For 300k as well, you're going to get a very, very good player. Moves smooth in games, as you see, turns quite quickly. Obviously, I was playing against a, a lot of flashback for Rands. And yeah, he seemed to leave him quite easily. Kimpembe as well, who just so met her in the game. He's got good body type as well, you know, he's not stocky. He, he he's, he's like... He feels like, even though he's six foot, he feels like he's very like a five foot eight, five foot nine player. The way he turns, agile, very very good card, very very good card. If I'm being honest with you, obviously he's got the long shot taper trait as well, so I didn't manage to score any. But again, it just adds different variations to when you're attacking. If someone is playing drop back, he can take a shot with that sort of a foot trait, long shot taker. He's got the dribbling to get round players. He's quick, agile. Like I said, he's the full package for me. A lot of good links as well to link him in. Let me show you a few suggestions on how you could get this card in on 10 chem. So the first one I picked out, Winter Wildcard Coutinho. He was an SBC, but it would be a strong link to Cunha as well, obviously. He wasn't, like I said, an SBC. So if you've done him, you can. it's a great link. Second choice would be Rule Breaker Suarez. I think it's still around 300k, this card, so it's not exactly cheap. But it's an absolute great card. 90 pace, 87 dribbling, 87 shot, 86 passing. All round, this card's... Incredible. Again, that's another strong link to Cunha to get him in on chem. One of the ones I've done a player review on already, Casemiro Rule Breaker. If you put a shadow on this card, you've got a, a solid CDM. As you can see, all round, he's near enough a Hulit Gang card anyway. But this would be another choice that I would say to try and link him in with. Another one I thought I'd throw in there, Player of the Month, Vinicius Jr. I mean, he's I mean, he just got to look at the card. 99 agility, 99 pace, strong link to Cunha, 92 stamina. To be honest, he's one of the complete wingers on the game. So for me, if you did do this card, it's an easy, easy link. Last but not least, Adidas numbers up, Edo Militao. Now, this card is an absolute beast. So take all these players that I've shown, I would use in my team. Edo Militao is quick, pacey, strong, 83 agility for a centre-half. And again, it's another strong link for Cunha. So I would definitely, definitely be looking at getting some of these cards in if you wanted to get Cunha in on 10 chem. Unless you've got icons around him or Brazilians. You're going to need some of these cards. So, yeah, like I said, I really, really enjoyed using this card. I played I played three games of him. <laughs> very solid, as you see. Good finishing. Great dribbling. Passing's very good. Turns very agile in games. Smooth. Great shooting. If I don't give it a rating out of 10, I'd definitely give this a 9. Like I said, it just needs like a 5-star weak foot or the skill moves to be a 10, in my opinion. But I think this card will probably drop to about 200k. Probably 100, 150k to 200k. I think that will be the mark that he'll drop to. And to be honest with you, it's a very, very, very good card. Like I said, he's not really going to get pushed off the ball as much as other cams. And to be honest, you're going to get more or less the same. Look at the agility, 93. So he's like I said, normally with these cards that are too tall, they normally move a little bit slower. They, they don't turn as well. But for some reason, he's six foot. He's got that good body type where he can just turn, hit it either foot, gets round players. Like I said, for me, the complete, complete package, nine, nine out of 10 from me. And I would definitely get this card in if I was you. If you're looking to upgrade your cam, don't want to spend too much money. Good links as well. Brazilian. 
he plays in a good league in La Liga. I showed you a few links how you could get him in. So, yeah, definitely get Matas Cunha in. 9 out of 10. Well, that is all for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So, let's keep it up, guys. And until next time, 